Hello and welcome to the space that gives you inspiration on work, on life and how to balance the two. We're here at V Gallery, the home of premium quality and lifestyle. I'm currently seated at the Saint Germain, a brand of Dietre Italia. I'm feeling very luxurious. Do you feel that? <laughs> But we continue our conversation on balance in the work-life balance equation. And today we want to talk time management. Time is our most limited, infinite resource here on earth. We all have 24 hours in a day and yet some people seem to do more than others, accomplish more than others, make more money than other people. And how come? That's where time management comes into play. What exactly is time management? In layman's terms, or how I understand it, is <laughs> managing your time. <laughs> Simply said, how do you optimize your 24 hours, the same 24 hours that Elon Musk has, or your mom and your dad have? Like, how do you optimize that? How do you make use of the 24 hours that we have? Even the Bible says, Lord, teach us to number our days. How are you numbering your days, right? That is what we talk about when we say time management. So today I want to share some tips on how to manage your time better. The first and probably the most important step of time management is finding out what you're supposed to do. Determine what you're supposed to do. If you don't know what you're supposed to do, you're going to do everything, right? So the first step of managing your time is determining what you're supposed to do. And how do we determine that? With something called the Eisenhower matrix. The Eisenhower, Eisenhower matrix of productivity. Gosh, these names, this whole day has been about names, right? So this matrix is based off two different axes. The first axis, right, is on the urgency. The second axis, axis is on the importance. So one of the things that I always think about is I am the one that's supposed to determine what exactly urgent means and what exactly important means. For me, urgent means is it has a deadline or it doesn't. So for me, something urgent is it should be having a deadline. For other people, something urgent is what they've been told to do by their boss vis-a-vis -vis what they've not been told to do. Okay. So the first step in, for me, for the Eisenhower matrix is to find out after in determining what you're supposed to do, find out what exactly urgent means for you. And then what does important mean for you? For me, for me, important means it makes money, right? <laughs> it doesn't make money, it's not important. Are we good? For other people, important means it's work. Important means it's God. Important means it's family. I don't know what your definition of important is, but that's exactly what you need to do. Determine or define what important and urgent mean to you. Now, if you find, now you use the matrix. How do you use the matrix? The matrix is four quadrants, okay? The first quadrant is things that are urgent and important, okay? Now, when you have things that are urgent, and important <laughs> those are the things that you should reduce what are the things that could be under urgent and important for most people it's everything in their lives right for me something urgent it should be having a deadline and it should be making me money right so urgent and important you don't want to live in that quadrant that's a quadrant you want to live out of. Why? You will constantly be under pressure. You will constantly be having deadlines. You will constantly be in a place of unrest if you decide to live in the quadrant where everything in your life is important and also urgent. As much as possible, get out of that quadrant. Which quadrant might you want to go to? You want to go into the quadrant of not urgent but important 
why you need time to plan for the things that are important you need time to predetermine the things that are important to you so for me like i said earlier urgent means it has a deadline important means it's going to make me money so the things for me that exist in the not urgent but important means it's going to make me money but i don't have a deadline to it or i am ahead way ahead of my deadline for example i might have a client um oh this is a good one this is a good one you you know i run a child care center right i'm constantly writing proposals for grants right we're good we're good now i know that you know they're always applying right and they always have deadlines right those grant proposals always have deadlines but what i did was because of my experience in the eisenhower matrix and also in writing proposals one of the things that i did was i got frequently asked questions because they're always the same you know um what's your goal what was the problem you are solving when did you start and why all of those things are usually the common questions they will ask in a grant proposal uh, request. So I got all of those in a frequently asked questions notes that I have on my computer. Now, anytime I see a grant that I would like to apply for, way before the deadline, way before the deadline, I just have to look at it, the questions are there. I get into my frequently asked questions notes for grants, I just copy, paste, copy paste copy paste edit in accordance to the grant requirements and send way before the deadline see what i did i had time to plan for that thing it's gonna make me money but i've had that time to plan for it now that's the place you want to live in where nothing is urgent but you're always making sure that you're, you're always getting ready for that thing that's important for you right so as much as possible run away from the urgent and important and come to not urgent and important be in a place of pre preparation the other quadrant now the third quadrant is those things that are urgent, but they're not important. <laughs> like those phone calls. You're talking to someone, you're having a meeting, you're having dinner, you're with your loved one, you get a phone call, just because it makes a sound and it's loud and you know that that's your ringtone, all of a sudden, it became urgent. Is it important? And most times when they call you, they are calling you to ask you to do something. Guess what? What they've called you to do or to consider or to think about now becomes urgent. Imagine if you didn't pick up, would it be urgent? Absolutely not. Things like WhatsApp. You receive a notification and all of a sudden it becomes urgent. Because now they've sent you a picture of a meme which was interesting so or oh, it might not be a meme it might be an announcement or something the ones of memes I'm going to tell you where they come it could be an announcement it could be something that comes on to I mean for me I for one a lot of the messages we were getting about the closure of preschools was off of whatsapp guess what all of a sudden it becomes urgent now I'm calling people now I'm telling people to do this I'm like, why it became urgent Things like emails, you're seated on your phone, get a notification, an email has come through. Now, what the email says becomes urgent. But it wasn't important a few minutes ago. So, that falls in the area of urgent, but not important. For those, for those activities, what you want to do is either delegate them so somebody else is replying those messages or taking those phone calls and taking what needs to be done or do it at a later time do it in your non-productive time do it when you're away from your family or away from the person that you've gone to meet okay those can be extended to a non-productive time and then the fourth quadrant where memes on whatsapp fall is they're not important they're not urgent why are they taking our time again why exactly are memes? 
you spend so much time scrolling on social media reacting quarreling putting bad energy telling people they are dressed badly who was it who took time sometime last week to tell me i have long nails that's a person who was completely engaged in something <laughs> unimportant and not urgent those ones as much as possible eliminate remove from your life don't come onto social media to do nothing don't come onto social media to troll to do wrong why why are we like this you know what i'm saying so they said an activities which honestly not important not urgent for those ones completely eliminate now here's the thing different activities are different for different people based on what their definition is of urgent and not important for people who are in the social media world such as social media influencers um, whatsapp or social media might be among the most important things that they do so that's why i don't want to tell you what should be important for you and what should be urgent for you that should be left to your own personal discretion now now that you know what you're supposed to do which is everything that was in the not urgent but important quadrant of the eisenhower matrix you want to plan or schedule it as your second step this is the way you manage your time. Plan, schedule it, put it into a calendar, put an alarm. If you're supposed to write a proposal, if you're supposed to call someone for a meeting, if you're supposed to have a meeting, put, put it in a calendar, put it on a schedule, plan for that activity to be done, okay? Now, the third step, after you've known what you're supposed to do, you've scheduled it, the third step is to do it in your most productive time. Do it early in the morning. That's for me. My first four hours of work, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. are my most productive times. For other people, it's 2 p.m. to 6 people. 6 p.m. For other people, it's 8 p.m. to midnight. I don't know what your most productive time is, but that's when you should do what you're supposed to do. Okay? Now, after you have done what you're supposed to do, you've scheduled it and you've done it in your most productive time. The fourth step is to use tools to ensure that you actually get it done. So like now for me, sometimes, and the truth is, most of the things that you need to do, right? Let me say it. Most of the things that you need to do are often the most difficult things. But we want to get into a place where we can do what we need to do so that we have the time to do what we want to do okay so most times for me these are proposal writings at my admin day i absolutely don't like my admin day i'm looking at analysis i'm looking at numbers it excites me a bit but just going into it can get real messy getting ready for my board oh my god those are things that i need to do and the truth is most of the times what we need to do can be pretty draining okay now that we know it's draining you've scheduled it you know that you need to do it you've scheduled it you are doing it in your most productive time here's two tools that i would advise you to use the first one that i use is the five minute rule on the day that i'm supposed to do it and i've been scheduled to do it i tell myself and i convince myself i need only five minutes whatever i do about that task that i'm supposed to do i'm just only going to do it for five minutes that's what i tell myself i'm like manuela proposal to be written just five minutes manuela board papers to be written just you only need five minutes just start with five minutes that's all you need and in those five minutes sometimes i really don't feel like doing it so i'll really just open the page and put a title and arrange it nicely and that's the end of the day until tomorrow when i've scheduled it again okay so just convince yourself you have to do it for five minutes now as luck would have it after five minutes sometimes you do go past the five minutes and you start to get into the flow of writing your document or you get into the flow of having that meeting or having those meetings so you, you kind of get into the flow at that point here's another tool that i like it's called the pomodoro technique in the pomodoro technique for 25 minutes you engage in that activity then it will give you an alarm for five minutes to rest 
back off of it and then you go back into it for another 25 minutes and then go off of it for five minutes for four, four times. That happens four times before a 15 minute longer break. I absolutely love that. Most times by this time, I'm, I'm really in the game for what I'm doing. Um, usually I'll go through two rounds of Pomodoro, which is 25 times eight minutes. And by then I've really pretty much done a whole load out of that task, which I really didn't want to do, but that needs to get done. Okay. And there we have it. That's everything I have on time management for the meantime. Tell me what techniques are you going to take on from what I've shared or what techniques are you already doing? Let's share in the comment section. I would like to read and to learn and see what more I can incorporate, but also what you have learned from what I shared. Remember, you can get any of my products that are on sale via the link below. There's the home organization tool, the meal edition, the annual plan for your meals, no repeating a single combination, but also the home organization tool on how to clean and organize your home now when you're in a space like v gallery the home of premium quality and lifestyle the inspiration to keep your home clean and organized just goes a whole notch higher let's talk a bit more about this this San Germain sofa by D3 Italia is a three-seater sofa with an exclusive sartorial design that echoes with timeless classicism. It's made with bridge feet in black painted metal with a toe in gold or black chrome finish. The sofa is upholstered in fully removable premium leather fabric. This is a Ditre Italia Anni rectangular center table in white Carrara marble and a wood base. It belongs to a collection that is flexible in terms of shapes, dimensions, and top materials such as wood and veined marble. Carrara marble from which the top of this center table is made is dense and relatively non-porous, making it durable and stain resistant. The Babilio desk by Caligaris is a modern home office desk with a subtle retro feet, featuring a tubular metal frame wooden top, upholstered privacy panels, and a discreet storage drawer. With its elegant paneling in regenerated leather, Babilio will help you recreate your own cozy office in the comfort of your own home. Working at home is shaping the future and having the right desk at your home is paramount. For this and more, visit V Gallery on 6th Street Industrial Area at Vendax Plaza. Thank you so much for joining me today. Until next week, 